All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on here. Yeah, again, right? Um, you're going to get the judgment if you allow, again, right? Life is a canvas. Your life is a canvas. Uh, it's time to do a self-portrait. It's time to heal yourself, love yourself, self-love, okay? Create who you are, not who they are, okay? Sort of an energy. Yeah, okay, be on your own throne, okay? Sweet sobriety in feelings, right? You have had their addiction to power, right? It started off, right? We had the seven of wands and the six of wands and the eight of wands and the 10 of wands and the ace of wands and the fire and the, this is somebody else's, right? Page of wands. This is somebody else's wands. This is somebody else's power. And you've been living this life, right? Kind of addicted to their driving codes. And you're being guided to relinquish, relinquish that, right? And in that sobriety from that, you claim your own throne. Yeah, all right. The lore of the easiest way. Okay, this old empress, right, um even locked away in this dungeon or this tower, right? Uh, okay, the emperor was still coming and claiming them, but it was just passion and then, okay, emperor, it's time to go. You know, their little helper would come and get them to go away. And so that's kind of been your pattern with love and friendships and jobs, right? Of, um, feeling like you're always kind of behind the scenes and people give you accolades and then they're gone, right? Because you've been reliving that code, trying to heal it again and again and again for this empress. And it misaligns with who you are and you know that. Okay, four of swords, you have to heal your, your feminine code, whether you are masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You have to feel, heal that feminine code, right? That self-healing energy, releasing that empress, okay? So that you can figure out which direction you're actually going and what you want and what you need, okay? Because again, right, this emperor here still kept the empress in the background, okay? And the jester kind of stood watch and let the emperor know when they needed to walk away. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords, right? Um, this empress truly loved this emperor and they were every way shape or form okay the power couple right like i feel like because she's got a hold of his wand and i feel like she was the controlling aspect of the kingdom which is why he couldn't completely get rid of her and she always had this pride as he was rising up, right? Like of him going off to kind of be this really brilliant leader and her knowing that she was feeling that. Okay, but here's the thing is how it's playing out in your life is the hanged woman and the eight of cups where you're just allowing yourself to be force fed this same story over and over again, hanging on to this, these wands the Empress above feeding you these situations, 
right? Where you are not aspecting your true self. Pallas Athena, it's time to take off her crown and go on your own path. Okay, think about that. Really take some time and think about that, right? What's your canvas look like? Your canvas, not their canvas. Okay, yeah, Scorpio, death, okay? Investigate this and you start letting these pieces of this old queen, right? That death process start to fall away. I feel like the lunar eclipse is gonna be just the beginning, okay? Um, but you do, the heart is blue. You have to get into your emotions to do this. You can't shore up your emotions. Okay. Yeah. You still have a ways to go on the progression here. I feel like um, there is a divine purpose for all of this journey that you're on. 56 is the 11. Right? But you can't see where that progression is taking you yet <laughs> but it's going to take you back to the beginning right uh, first house arrival and when you arrive there in your first house as a very balanced you which even could be a very balanced union okay It's something that when it comes in, it comes in very fast. And just, it will change your world. And that's what you're being prepared for. Okay. You've got to get rid of, they're like, you've got to get rid of Saturn. You've got to get rid of these limitations. Oh, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Right? To come into the sun. Right? The real sun that's been hidden from you behind the moon. Okay, the real sun has been hidden from you behind this moon. Yeah, the more you do this work, okay, the less of the shadow of this empress will remain in your being. Yeah, Chiron, this is actually healing your inner wound that you've been carrying that is not yours, okay? Like when Chiron was wounded, right? It wasn't supposed to be Chiron getting wounded. And then Chiron carried that wound and was like, please make me mortal so that I can die and release this, right? You're like, please let me release this ancestral bullshit so that I can have that die and come into my own truth, my life. Yeah, okay? Because the second house here is the higher level connection, okay? Taurus energy where the heart now is green. Okay, the heart now is balanced, which is very beautiful. Okay, but again, the sun hidden behind the moon. Very important message for you. Okay. Spirit wants to close off with one more thing. Okay. Let's close off with one more oracle card here for you. Spirit, give me the oracle card for the true Sagittarius. <laughs> there you are. The sun is no longer hidden and you're underneath your own blessings, right? With this very sort of amethysty energy on either side, kind of in protection. Your emotions are flowing now properly. Okay, let power rise. Let your power rise. Okay, not the Empress's. So I hope that that helped you. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I will see you next time. All right, much love. Bye.